Well, good morning, Arizona. First at nine o'clock, the holiday weekend certainly taking a tragic turn. Right now, the search is on for this missing six year old girl. Yeah, a group of people were crossing Tonto Creek in a military style truck on Friday afternoon when floodwaters swept away three children. It's a very sad story. Crews recovered the bodies of the other two kids, but B both of them only five years old. The search resumed today when the sun came up and right now crews are looking for Willa Rawlings. The race is on against the clock as more storms are moving into our area this week. So Gibby's live out there. He's been out there all morning gathering the latest information and uh, he's <clears throat> got the latest Gibby. Yeah, good morning, guys. Uh, we just received a briefing here in the last 30 minutes. Just to let you know, right now they have about 40 to 50 law enforcement out here helping out, and that's not counting the volunteers that are out here as well. We saw earlier they had some on horseback, some uh, who were walking it. There, There's two or three different groups of people who are out here in hiking gear just walking through this area. They also have drones boats all to assist in this you know today marks the fourth day of searching for the six-year-old girl authorities from the gila county sheriff's department say the other two bodies were found on saturday that of a boy and a girl which were found we spoke with arizona's family uh we spoke with lauren rawlings who is the mother of five-year-old austin rawlings who says that uh, that body was located on saturday along with um the five-year-old cousin Kobe Rawlings and they're still searching for Kobe's sister and even though this terrain is rough they don't want to give up hope but they understand what they're up against. We all want to be optimistic in situations like this and uh, I know sometimes uh, we do have to be realistic but our main thing is we're, st we're still actively looking for her and we just want to find this little girl and we want to bring her back to her family and uh, and give and give them peace. Yeah, one of the things they also told us was that at yesterday, when they had about 300 people searching, some some church members as well, that the dogs hit on a pile that they begin to kind of dig underneath to kind of look to see. They say they're going to resume uh, digging underneath that pile again today just to make sure that everything is clear from that matter. One other thing I want to bring up, Scott, you brought this up earlier, was a lot of people talking about how the road was closed and uh, does the stupid motorist law apply to this. They said right now their main focus focus is finding that little girl and once that is done then they'll focus on an investigation.